So um, we're updating the automotive program into the 21st century with the latest and greatest in chassis dynamometers. Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. Please enjoy this next video, but before that, please subscribe, like us, give us a thumbs up, share our videos. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? My name's uh, Andreas Bakopoulos. This is a 2020 GT350R, built by Paramount Speed in Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. They took the 2020 and they just went crazy with it. They uh, did rods and pistons, supercharger gen uh gen 5 3 liter whipple uh they put a crank snout on it full fuel system here i'll show you under the hood they put a they put a return style fuel system on it you can see here with the 40 regulator uh -huh. for the people that don't know what that is that's a fuel pressure regulator okay it's the factory one that ends at the motor this one runs a return style fuel system okay. so they upgraded that they obviously the supercharger it's on a 3.25 pulley it's got a crank snout uh, brace on it uh -huh. and carbon fiber drive shaft it's got an e85 tune makes a thousand wheel horsepower oh, really? and really? about seven and a quarter wheel torque wow. so for a a flat plane crankshaft GT350 that's pretty amazing. Sure. And, and go back to the carbon fiber drive shaft. First it's got thing. carbon fiber drive shaft. It, this the, the R also has carbon fiber rims. Uh -huh. Those rims are actually carbon fiber. Really? Yeah. And the, the carbon fiber wing, but they're painted. You know, the first, first time I've ever heard of a carbon fiber drive shaft. Yeah, carbon. Well, actually, a lot of cars have nowadays. Yeah. But they're pretty awesome. Right. And then these rims. Are carbon fiber as well. And they're made by whom? By they're made by a company in Australia, for Ford. Okay. They put just on their R's. So the G, the uh, what is it? The GT 500 R, or and then the GT 350 R both have the carbon fiber rims. They're freaking four thousand dollars a piece if you want to buy them. Oh, you forgot to use the word oh. Oh. Right. right. Yeah. Wow. They're no, they're they're stupid expensive. So the, how long have you been dreaming, dreaming about this car? Oh man, ever since it came out. <laughs> and it's the last of its kind because it's the last manual. The GT500 went with uh, automatic. Right, right. So this is the last manual Cobra that'll probably ever be. Sure, sure. I really doubt we'll make it to see another Cobra. What kind of tires do you have to? Uh, Mickey Thompson's. There you go. Of course, right. Really you go. gotta have some cheater slicks. Yeah, it drives amazing. Uh, you could just leave it in normal mode. It's quiet. You could put it in sport mode, then the active exhaust opens up and it gets loud, you know. It's on E85 or 93 tune, you get to choose. Obviously, the E85 tune is the way more horsepower. I plan on taking it to the track, but I already know I'm gonna get kicked off the track after, what, maybe one or two passes. So, but I just want to take it just for fun. Right, right. I don't want to really cage it out. You know what I mean? I want to keep it a street right, car. Right. So more like a car show car and a fun car to drive on the street. Have you allowed anyone else to drive it? Just, just my son. Just my son. Yeah, that's his Evo right there. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's built by Hotchman, Fab and Speed and uh, tuned by Boost and Performance. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Oh, is that good? So the, um, and then the, um, so how much torque? You know, how much torque? This one? Yeah. At the wheels, like seven and a quarter. At the wheels, like a thousand horsepower, seven hundred and a quarter torque. It's obscene. Like you could go, you could be doing 100, 130 miles an hour. Step on it. Step on it, and the rear tires will light up. It'll, it, it's out. Of, it's, it's powerful. And how did, did the company that did this? Paramount Speed. And, and then, versus any other company, how, how are they different? Well, they're, they're a speed shop, you know, so they, they, they specify in certain cars. They Like I said, they did rods, pistons, cams. Wow. Wow. So what's next? Is it finally done? 
honestly, yeah, it has everything, anything you can imagine has been done to it. There's really nothing I can think of that it, it needs or could use. I mean, yeah, for sure. I wish it had a button for less power. You know what I mean? So, right, right, so it's more... See, it's got a, the the R has like a rear seat delete, so there's no rear seat in the in the R, and it's got like the Recaro racing seats. And the 2020 is the last year of the GT350, so when I found out it was the last year, I was like, I had to get one, you know. Sure, sure. So that's be, why you have the license plate yet. Right, I just got it a month ago. I flew down to Texas and drove it back. How are the, how's the braking on this? The brakes are insane. <laughs> if you don't have your seatbelt on, you're going through the window. Right, right, right. The it's a track car. They, they built it to be a track car, but, you know. Oh yeah, all right, let's do it. It's, it starts off kind of quiet, but then once I hit the button, it opens it up. Okay, here we go, here we go. I won't plug my ears. Wave to the ca wave, wave at wave, the camera. Wave, wave. Wave at the camera. Say hi. Oh, thank you. There you go, there you go. Well, this was my 2020 GT350R. Thanks for watching US Classic Muscle Cars. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>